everyone, it's me Karen and I'm here today to do a new manicure with you and it is part of a collaboration with several other wonderful YouTube ladies, nail artists and we're all going to be doing the theme of back to school. So I welcome all of you for being here and watching my video and all of you new people that have stopped on by from one of the other ladies pages hey thanks for coming and welcome I hope you'll stick around for a while so I am going to get into doing this manicure which is if you can't tell a pencil yes my fingernails look like pencil tips remember these yeah this isn't your traditional yellow one but you get the idea. So sit tight and we will get rolling on doing this manicure. Okay? We're going to start off with talking about inspiration for our theme, which is back to school. I was inspired by this little gem. This is an old Milwaukee Public Schools number two pencil. Classic, except for the regular pencils that we all had to use were yellow. You remember that yellow? I sure do. But they look just like this. But uh, today we're going to recreate that look on yarn nails. And so we're going to use some wet and wild yellow. And this isn't quite the right yellow. This one is called Doe, oops, number 472D. And then I'm going to use some soap bubbles, Soft Laranja by Esmaltis da Kelly. And I got this from Butometry, Wet n' Wild, you can get at your local drugstore. Of course, you need to start off with your favorite base coat, whatever you like. For the eraser part, I'm going to use this polish by El Corazon. It is number 423-263 in their cream active biogel section. Okay, and then for the metal part here, I'm going to be using two polishes. This is Revlon. It is called Sophisticated number 905 and then I'm going to top that off with a simple color silver called Out of This World. And then I would highly recommend you use some tape because we're going to color block basically and I'm going to use a mat and uh, let's get going here. I'm going to start off with my wet and wild and we're just going to put it on you're not going to do a full nail because only the bottom half is going to be yellow Next we're going to do the eraser part. I've got about two coats of the uh, yellow on and so this is just going to go on the tip. Don't worry about being perfect. Not necessary because this is going to get covered with a silver band. Starting to see it come together aren't you? It's looking pretty good already, don't you think? Alright, I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then we're going to add some more embellishment on it. I'm going to start my other section. For this I'm going to need a few pieces of tape. Actually, let's do it the long way.
All right, lay some tape. Now this tape is just a basic painter's tape. It is, I think that's a quarter of an inch. Got it off of Amazon. Uh, you can use whatever you have in the house, any kind of tape. I use this one for my nails because it is also a low stick, but using it on a mat really doesn't matter because um, it's not going to pull up polish from my nail. Okay, so here's what we're doing. You can kind of see the spacing that I used on here. Um, it's about the same as the width of the tape, as a matter of fact, so you can do it wider, you can do it narrower, whatever you like, but um, that's what I'm doing because I want enough room to see everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a line of the gray. Now, you got to kind of work a little bit fast on here because you don't want this drying too much before you peel the tape up. And this does not have to be neat. You just need to make sure you get polish down. All right. Now the next layer I'm going to do is the silver. And I am going to do the silver in the opposite direction to add a little bit of texture to the whole thing. Again, you have to keep working efficiently because we want this polish to still be wet when we pull up the tape. I'm hoping that the brush strokes on this will give it the look of the ridges that we typically saw on a pencil. I think it will. All right, so that part is done. Let's pick it up just in time. Okay, we're gonna let that dry too while we're away. Of course, I can always put a little bit of quick dry top coat on that to help that along. So I'll be back shortly and we will finish this all up. Put it all together. Okay, this is still drying, so we are going to do a little bit of uh, shading on our wooden part of our pencil. I'm going to be using this uh, soap bubbles tint that is the orangish one, and I am going to create an illusion of the multiple sides of a pencil. So I did it already on the thumbnail. Do you see it? Just going to put it on the edges. I am going to clean off the brush a lot. There isn't going to be a lot on here. I'm just going to go down the sides. Now the pinky nail here is so small, so narrow. So I'm not going to, I'm sure we're not going to be able to see it that much. going over the edges, but we can just clean that up. Thank goodness for detail brushes and clean up brushes and all that stuff. Now on the wider nails, I'll be able to just lay it down and just bring it up halfway. All right, let's see if our silver strip of metal is, looks like it's pretty good. All right, let's get this up. 
great. All right, I'm going to cut some segments off of here. There we go. Let's take a look at this. Oh, I like it. And it is sticking. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Let's cut this off here. Where's my little thingy? I've got my little thingy here. Let's just press that away. Sometimes it's easier to file off the excess. And that worked really well right there. Now I'm going to inspect this a little bit. I'm happy with this. I got it a little crooked, but that's okay. That's okay. So let's do another one. I hope I have enough for my nails here. There we go. Yeah, it's cut pretty well. A little bit of a blooper on the size there. But we'll fix it. We'll fix the... All right, we've all the got we've got all the parts on. So let me do some cleanup. This is really raw looking, but let me do some cleanup, and I will meet you back here. All right, I've done a little bit of cleanup around the edges. I'm going to go ahead and put on some top coat to smooth out all the edges, and then we're going to take a look at the situation. This will help melt the silver strip right into the other layers and don't forget to do your edges and your tips cap those off all right let me get that drying and uh, we're going to be right back because we've got some other manicures to talk about some of the other wonderful contributions in this collaboration so hang tight i'll be right back you guys, I came back because I just didn't like the way this was looking. You can see on my pinky nail, I am painting a little bit of vertical striping to give the metal a little bit more of a metal pencil look. Anyway, I've got an ultra fine brush and I have dispensed a, just a touch of uh, black polish. You can do this with your acrylic paints if you'd rather. If you have um, markers that'll do the trick, that's cool too. I didn't have, I was going to try a uh, ultra fine black sharpie. <laughs> a back to school supply we should all have, huh? And I didn't have one, so this is what we're doing. That's a little bit better, isn't it? They look more like pencils now. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to go ahead and retop coat these, and uh, we'll be right back to show you the final result. All right, everybody, I'm back, and I have done a final top coat, and I'm <laughs> pretty happy with this. I'm really glad that I added the little extra details because now they look a little bit more like actual pencils. But... Uh, 
Hey, you guys, I really appreciate that you were here. This was a collaboration that I did with a whole bunch of other ladies, and um, after this video is over, which will be in just a few moments, you'll get to see all of their designs. So I hope you at least liked my design. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And uh, for all of you new people here, thanks for being here. And why don't you go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other upcoming videos. Also, check the information box below, down there, for links to the products that I used in this video, like where you're going to be able to find the other contributors for this collaboration. And I will also try to provide some on-screen links up in the corner as we go through their designs. So you guys, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. And until the next time that we get together, ta-ta.